What's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can replace your stock cat back system. So here's the two cat back exhausts compared side by side. To the right is your stock and to the left is the ISR. You can clearly tell a huge difference between this muffler over here and the ISR having a muffler deleted. Also, the previous owner removed the resonator and the stock comes with the resonator. So this is gonna be extremely loud. So what we're gonna do is safely raise up our car. We got our chalk, we got our jack stand, we have the jack. Now, it's time to enter the rear. All right, so from the back, we start with our tips and our muffler. And if you go further down, you're gonna see this tube, which is your resonator. After that, you're gonna see your secondary cat delete. From the ground up, you're gonna see your tip, the muffler, and right over here, this is a mounting point. All you're gonna need is a 12 millimeter to remove this hanger and this hanger on this side. The next part is our resonator. The mounting point is right over here. We're gonna remove this with some WD-40. Or you just take your flathead, pry it open like this. Okay, so we're done with this part. Okay, so next you want to go from the side of your car, and you want to go under here. Previously, I deleted my cat from a different downpipe. These look rusty, so you take your PV blaster, squirt there, squirt up there, also on the back here too. You know, agitate the surface a little bit. You should also use sandpaper. If the surface is rusted, you're gonna need a 14 mil. Huh. Take this guy off. The nuts and a washer. The top hold over here is hard to reach. What you're gonna need is one of these wobbling tools. See how nicely that fit on? Now I'm just gonna attach my impact over here. And all I do, pull the tool. I just wanna get that off. All right. And as you can see, this pipe is completely off. So I'm just gonna lower this. And that's a huge exhaust leak over there. Oh goodness. <laughs> So if you look in the back, I have a footstool to support the front and the cat back. And what I did on the sides, I put two blocks of wood because I'm gonna need the jack to hold up the muffler. Because right now what I'm gonna do is remove the two supporting bolts here and on the other side. And what that's gonna do is collapse this and then I can finally remove the entire cat back system. So this area doesn't really look rusted at all, but it doesn't hurt to put some. This time you're gonna need a 12 millimeter. With the final fasteners removed, I'm gonna lower the jack and drag with the cat back on a creeper. Here is an atrocious stock cat back, okay? So let's see how this sounds without the cat back on. I gotta sit down. I don't know if this was a good idea. <laughs> Oh wait, that, that scared me. That that honestly scared me. Like yo, I, I'm actually shaking. Like it's it's it's. Check how wicked the burnt chrome tips look like compared to the stock ones. What you want to do with your previous hanger is remove them and put them onto your new ones. Remove any rust. Lubricate the surface, and that's it. We got this off. Put both sides off. Put the brush through. We're just gonna slide this right in. What you want to do next is clean up the surface, especially removing the old gasket. And as you can see right here, it's a bit broken, so rust it on, shut. Oh, no, actually, got it off right here. You see that? I got myself a new one. Now, how do you clean off this surface? Well, you can use a metal wire brush or a toothbrush. Just get off everything evenly. And you could also use some sandpaper. All right, so I'm going to start off by rolling in the mid pipe. All right, you're gonna start off by spraying some WD-40 and then you're just gonna slip it in. What we're gonna do is attach this metal bar to the rubber hanger. Kinda like that, okay. Nice, it's bang down. So I'm gonna reuse my old gasket. After you roll it in, what you can do is connect your mid pipe to your down pipe, right there. Put the other one here, take your washer, and these nuts. You want to fully tighten it, you just want to like fully tighten this. I managed to do this is because my jack is actually supporting the other side over here. So the axle back, what I'm going to do is one side is going to be supported by the jack. The other side is going to be supported by my hand. These two hangers, I'm just going to mount them up and that's it. Because I'm having such a hard time aligning the mid pipe over here, what I'm going to do is have a single fastener bolted on offset on each side. Make sure that's super tight. That cannot come off. 
Okay, so this part, I'm gonna put in my new gasket and then my 14 millimeter bolts, and that's it. Okay, that is completely sealed. The mid pipe and the down pipe, you gotta put a wrench on like this. That's completely sealed. All right, now we can start up the car. test drive thanks for watching my tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time